Welcome again YouTubers. Now in this video I will be explaining the relationship of the battery and the alternator and how this relationship can be used to reduce engine speed during idling so that engine speed can go as low as to 600 or 750 rpm while the engine is idling. Now there's a device on the battery which is a current meter and it measures the amount of current stored in the battery. Now when the engine is idling, the, if the battery is fully charged and the correct amount of current is in the battery, it sends a signal to the computer and what the computer does is to reduce the amount of power drawn by the alternator. When the power is reduced, that is drawn by the alternator the battery now supplies current to the engine while the engine is idling now why this is done now this is done because when the alternator is in operation and is supplying energy to the engine the alternator creates a lot of stress on the engine to supply that energy and this is how the, the alternator works the more energy is drawn from the alternator is the more stress it will be placing on the engine in order for the engine to continue running this alternator and uh, why is this so now because of the alternator and the way how it is designed now the alternator is designed in a way so that it freely moves whenever no, no current is being drawn from it. Now when current is being drawn from the alternator, the alternator starts to add load to the engine. Why is this so? Whenever the alternator is, being, is delivering energy, this alternator starts to operate in a way like a motor. And when that motor effect comes in, it will start to try and pull the alternator in the opposite direction to which it is rotating and when this is happening belt is trying to pull the alternator in one direction but the motor effect of the alternator is trying to pull it in the other direction and this is what increases the load on the engine now if the computer is set so that the battery supply most of the energy to the engine while the engine is idling then we will have less energy being drawn from the alternator and with less energy drawn from the alternator we have less load on the engine and less load on the engine during idling it would mean that the engine can throttle at a, at a lower rpm and the engine continue running smoothly now this is the relationship between the battery and the alternator in these modern cars now i think this is a good idea the only thing that may interfere with that um, process is the current meter that is on the battery but mostly this operates fine and does not give any trouble the only thing is that if you find out that you're having trouble starting you may need to change the battery because it will interfere with this relationship between the battery and the alternator and can create engine vibration while the engine is, is idling. How does it create this vibration? If you have a bad battery and the battery charges very quickly, it will fool the computer saying that I have enough charge. So while the engine is idling, the computer will detect this charge and then it will reduce the amount of current drawn from the alternator but while it reduces the amount of current drawn from the alternator battery will drop in power very quickly and when this happens the process will have to, to take place where the, the computer will have to inform the alternator that it needs to generate more energy and the communication between the systems for the battery and the alternator it happens electronically fast but mechanically it does not happen fast so you will feel some form of vibration if the battery is not working properly so it is important to have a good battery in your vehicle and this will ensure that you have a smooth operation 
between your battery and your alternator. Now, if you find that this video is of some benefit to you or is informative, please subscribe and have yourself a nice time.